Catherine. Hi. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you. So um, tell us a little bit about you. So we know you as an actor here at our, at our school, um, but we want to know the real Catherine. What's underneath? The real Catherine, well, an actor that's very new for me. Mm -hmm. So my goal one day is to be an actor. Um, but I grew up in Minnesota and came out to Arizona after college and um, enjoyed the hiking. I was a teacher, taught um, sixth through 10th grades and got married, have three kids. That keep me very active, but you know, life is good. Yeah, good. Yeah. Um, and, you're, and you know, you're right. You are an actor. You already are an actor, by the way. Thank you. You already are. And you're more of an actor than other people who think they're actors. <laughs> Oh, in my okay. opinion, because here's the deal. I think to be something, you, have, you should be pursuing that thing, right? Yes. So if you're in the act of doing that, then you, you're just along the spectrum of, of actor, but you are an actor if you are doing. Mm -hmm. um, those that are waiting on the sidelines saying that they are actors, I, I think are maybe not. Gotcha. Yeah. I agree. Even yeah. if they land gigs, it doesn't make them an actor necessarily. So, um, I was uh, interested in what you wrote here about... Um, honesty being mm -hmm. big value to you. Can you talk mm -hmm. to me about that? Yeah, it's just something that um, as you grow into being the person that you're going to become, how I was raised as far as just morals and values and as I was meeting people and even you know different types of relationships, I realized that that was what I really admired in other people and how I wanted to be. Very genuine. This is you, what you see is what you get. Yeah. Um, and I um, appreciate when people are honest with me. Yeah. Versus trying to tell me something they think I want to hear. And um, so I, it, it's just important to me. I wonder if there's a little bit of the, the teacher in you that feels that way yeah. as well. Yeah. Because I believe the exact same thing. I think, mm. I, I think it's so unattractive when someone tells me what they think I want to hear mm -hmm. and they immediately lose credibility. Yes. And I'm someone who seeks the critique. I want it. Like, mm -hmm. like I, I'm like, please. And, that, and it doesn't always feel good, of course. Right. But, but I've conditioned myself to say thank you, especially when it hurts. Mm -hmm. I agree. Because on this side of it, when you are the teacher, I know the hardest thing for me to do is tell you the truth, mm -hmm. especially when you are excited about the thing, but you're wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you do this thing, you do the project, and you're so excited about it, and you want to show me, and then I have to tell you it's not good, yeah. and and that's hard. You know, it's really hard because you watch somebody deflate in a certain way, but I believe in that authentic truth. Like let you know, and of course, there's little bits and pieces you do at a time depending on the person. Right. But being false is not okay ever. You know. Well, correct, and uh, you're right as far as being a teacher too, and you're not helping that person. Right. You're not, you know, and so you, as my acting teacher, if you're just telling me how great I am. Yeah, that's what I, t I, I tell people. I, if, you want, if you want someone to tell you how great you are, you're in the wrong place. Right. You know, and there are teachers that are going to do that for you. Mm -hmm. Just you're not going to get it here. Right. You know? and, and, and I don't want that because yeah. I want to learn. Yeah. yeah. And then you're the type of person we want to attract. So we're in the right Thank place. You. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, so what brought you here in the first place? Do you remember? Yeah, well, I have taken a script class. I mean, acting, I've always had an interest in it. Mm -hmm. And when, you know, like the theater and movies, and I never really put it together like I could do that mm -hmm. until I was older. And so I have taken a script class years ago when I only had one child. But um, family took over, it, which I'm very happy about. Yeah. Um, and so my daughter, who's 15 now, said, you know, I have an interest. She had a friend here. I have an interest in acting. I'm like, oh. There we go. The door just opened for me again. And I went, I like that too. So I, we signed up together. Oh, cool. So that's what brought me in. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you said, um, is your, your relationship has... Yeah. So it's something that you're doing to, you know, together with, it. again, you know, the teacher thing. I'm mom mm -hmm. to her. Right. And um, so, of course, you know, there's sometimes I'm disciplining or know what you did wasn't right or something like that so it's a different level and relationship that we're both learning something together yeah at the same level and I'm well, not up here right and so we can talk about it I've done 
my script to her. Mm -hmm. She's practiced to me. Yeah. And it's it's a totally different relationship in that regard. It's so equal. So this and this is one of my um, one of the things we strive for actually is even if you were at different skill levels, mm. we want this place to be the great equalizer. Mm -hmm. You know, you come in here and everyone's treated the same in that we don't care how good you are. I could care less. I yeah. only care if you're getting better. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I know that now. I, that's why, but when I first came, I was so nervous because <laughs> I didn't know that because I knew I had really no experience. Yeah. And I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Like, mm, is he going to be expecting that? <laughs> No, stage right, stage left. Well, and what's know. funny is I get I get usually more excited about someone as long as you're passionate about it and it's something that is exciting to you and that you want to pursue and you're going to use it to, to better the world. That's kind of all I care about. But um, oftentimes it's the people with the bad habits that are harder. Oh, Because you got to yeah. break the bad habits first before you can start and someone's just fresh and you're yeah. like, hey, teach like, me. Like a blink Yeah, blink it's like, slate. oh, let's just let's do something with this. That's great. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That is good. How's your everyday life or job or anything been affected by, by the classes, outside well, of the class? Well, um, I've, I've always been comfortable because I'm a teacher, so I've mm -hmm. been, always been comfortable in, in front of other people. But I think, you know, it's helped me with my daughter because it, it, a 15-year-old girl isn't always the easiest to communicate, and so it's fun to have that in common with her. Um, and it has made me appreciate what I am doing for other people and maybe how I am either speaking to them communicating to them, it makes me a little bit more aware mm. than, than maybe I was in the past. Okay, yeah. So this is also, um, you said something that you get to do for you. Well, yeah, right? I'm, right. I mean, it's other than, you know, maybe once in a while getting a pedicure or getting my hair cut. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, and don't misunderstand me. I'm not, I, I love staying at home with, in raising my children. Yeah, right. It's my biggest well, joy. Let, let me tell you, by the way, we, I've got three kids and okay. my, my wife stays home full time and, and I tell everyone here, when I leave here, I go to work. Right. It's the hardest job. It's the my, hard, and, my it's, husband, and I have that support at home too. My awesome. husband says, yeah. you, out of the two of us, you have the hardest yeah. job. Um, and so I do appreciate that. But um, especially when they were young, um, I didn't get to do anything. Right. I mean, any outside thing, reading. So this has allowed me, my kids are older now, and um, and I don't feel guilty. That's a big thing. That's great. Because you, as a stay-at-home mom, you do feel guilty mm -hmm. if you go and do something like this. Right. That's just for you. I mean, you know, I mean, I, I will eventually benefit other people as I'm learning, but technically, it's something for me to better myself. Yeah, but, but now I'm going to talk to all the stay-at-home moms out there and say, you don't have to wait. Because you're right. No, I kind of right. wish I had known about exactly. you. Absolutely. Because the thing is, really, um, if, if you understand this, this concept of love, you, you have to fill your bucket yeah. in order to love at the highest level. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm thrilled that I'm here. I mean, the yeah. first day was hard. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm thrilled that... Well, actually, that's what made me think that, is if I don't go... What am I going to do? I'm going to do it when I'm 60? I mean... Yeah. No. I don't want to I don't want to wait. Right. I want, I, I want to go. So yeah, I, do I wish I had done this 10 years ago? Uh-huh. Yes. I do. Yeah. Yeah. I do. But and I mean and I'm talking about not even this necessarily. I'm just saying whatever Whatever your bucket what, whatever list. Whatever it is. Yes. Even if it's, you know, if it's 10 minutes, an hour, whatever it is, go Go fill you up if you can once a week. It makes you a better you. That's right. It makes you a better you. Better, Absolutely. Better. Absolutely. Better wife, better husband, better better child. I mean, all the way around. You you want that time. Yes. Um, so I'm glad I'm glad you found that. In one word, how would you describe our studio? Hmm. I guess in my experience, I would say accepting. Okay. Very accepting because um, I'm I, I'm very interested or. Um, I love the fact of all the different people, and when I say that, more like age-wise in my class, and um, I just don't feel like at a place, and people are just open arms, come on in. 
That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I it, people say they don't see um, race, you know, and I'm and I'm one of those people. But oh, I, I'm like that too. But I don't. I don't see age either, you know. And I, know I don't either, except in myself. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, and that's I something that we're going to work on, yeah. right? We're going to work on yeah. that. But really, it's like there's you, you can be a jerk at 13, or you can be awesome at 13, and the same thing goes for 60 or whatever. You know, I mean, I mean, people are people. Yeah. And and we've had, I think, 14 year olds have made it through our programs and made it into the adult program, and have been looked at by the grown-ups as like what like what am i in a kid's class mm -hmm. on their first day and then the kid gets up there and yeah works circles around them yeah and then they're like hey can i can you teach me some things <laughs> you know no exactly i mean yeah. just just my last class i had um it was, I, there was a, a classmate and he came up and was talking and and i i'm like oh my gosh i think he's maybe 17 and i'm like oh my gosh i'm just learning so much from him yeah and yeah. I, and how great my, is that? It's, no, it's fantastic. You know? But I'm just saying from my background right. as being a teacher, yes. it's a complete opposite. Because yeah. I was the one teaching the 17-year-old. Exactly. And I try to teach all the kids to remind them, hey, because I'm always like obsessed with my elders. I'm like, because like, you, know, you know things I don't know. Please t tell me. You know what right. I mean? Like, yeah. like, let's take your daughter. I've never had a 15-year-old daughter. You know? I got, I got a 6-year-old daughter. <laughs> you know, and we, that's right, and we went to Frozen, and we had a great time, and so I'm, I'm going, okay, there, there are things I don't know, and I want to learn, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it's such, I think, right now, this missed opportunity, and this is one of the things, actually, we're kind of passionate about and want to get involved in, is helping kids and the elderly connect to one another, you know, so, so going into uh, um, homes and, and entertaining and, and things, and so, because the you know any anybody who's you know 80s and and whatnot they need the youth to come in there and keep them vibrant and the youth need need the elderly but they just don't know it. No, they don't know it. My dad's 92 years old. Got to ask questions. Yeah. You know. Oh, absolutely. And you can learn so much. And just and I've always said like again my teaching aspect, you're teaching history. Yeah. Like bring these people. They in. lived. They in the, were yeah. alive during the Vietnam War. Thank you. Don't tell me from a book. Right. Yeah. What was the depression like? Tell my, me about and my it. Dad, my dad lived during the depression. Yeah. I mean, he was little, I yeah. mean, but my dad's 92. Right. And he... Felt it. Yeah. It's a big deal. Yeah. All right. So what advice do you have for somebody who's uh, thinking about uh, doing this or just, you know, maybe they, they, they don't even know they want to be an actor. They just, they just want to get better and they, they stumbled across... Uh, the studio, what, what advice well, do you give them? The, the number one thing is, again, what I said with the acceptance. Um, it's, it's a wonderful thing. Even if you don't really necessarily want to be an actor, it just is that helping you accept yourself and who you are because everyone around you does that. And it's so wonderful in that way. Um, and, you know, my story is, I told this to Brian the other day, that I almost didn't come in on my first day because I saw everybody coming into the class and <laughs> I could be their mother, there was a problem. Um, and I was really, really, really scared. And I am a very confident person. So that was a very new feeling for mm -hmm. me to go. And, and I really was doubting myself. And um, I don't doubt myself anymore. So it, it really has taught me to you know, be accepting with your faults, with your level. Um, most of the people in my class are better than me, which is a new feeling for me. Mm. And, um, and I'm fine with that. Yeah. And I, I, I learned that. I don't know if I would have been okay with that. If, if somebody had told me everyone's gonna be better than you, I would have gone, eh. But I would tell someone who wants to be a better them yeah. that this is a way to do it. Someone who is just thinking about acting and isn't like me and has had a passion for it, but mm, it might be kind of fun. It, it's just a great way to meet new people and it's a great way for you to grow as a person. Awesome, thank you. You're and welcome. you know, if you want to become a better tennis player, you go hang out with good tennis players. Exactly. Right? Exactly.
Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Absolutely.